The other thing is we can't say where the time is right yet. It looks good, but it's in the consumer's hands. We can't make people buy an iPad or a Fire. I hope they do. Actually, now I'm hoping they do. And the next thing I hope they do is go to the app store one way or the other and download some paid content from us. But we don't know. That's, it's not, we don't control that. So there's, this, there's an unknown out there in consumer behavior. That's a second big challenge we have. I think, there's a, I think there's a couple of others that I would mention. And I would say that there's a, uh, a cultural issue in the newspaper industry right now that is a couple of them that are, that are, that are really dicey. And one is the, the, the inside we have devoted so much time first to print and so many resources first to print that, frankly, it's, it's, it's difficult to, to get your mind around, if you're a, a longtime journalist, to the idea that your future is in the iPad and not in that beautiful page, that long, beautiful page one story and all of that reporting that you did for print. It's, I wouldn't say that, that people are resistant, but it's like... There's a second nature to print that there's not yet a second nature in terms of digital. That's, so that's, and, and, and that in some ways is a generational thing, but it's also an institutional issue for us. Uh, a, second, a second cultural problem is that the, 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 the second and third strongest sort of cultural norms in newspapers are one, we are, the, the next one is probably we are advertising driven. And so... I'm not dissing our own our own uh, our own application here, but there's no advertising in our app to speak of. There's three little places you can advertise. That had been 80% of the revenue in newspapers. Well, there's a there's a struggle in there. Then is our future advertising based? Or what if it is? Then how are we get advertising in there? Or is advertising going to be diminished more and more and more? And our future is selling content that is not advertising, information of other sorts. Don't know that yet. But there's a big struggle in that's. To be honest, that's why we have the little ad on our on our, uh, our smartphone. Is a, it's a, it's a, it's a little sop to the advertising part. We'll try try to sell this, which is fine. I, I hope they do. But but there's no real model for advertising yet in the digital world that we can see. So there's some there's some tension around that. And then the third one is probably the free versus paid. I mean, we built up a whole uh, subgroup in our n news organizations for the web is free. I mean, you know, that's what everyone thought. There's, but, but I think the point of that, the web had been free, and I think the issue now is basically is the web dead. I mean, is it in the sense is the free web dead? Because certainly the many, many big players are doing whatever they can to put a meter on it, and, and I think that's, you know, that's, but that's, a, that's an issue inside. For us in uh, Memphis, then, uh, I think there's, a, there's, another, there's another issue, and that is how much time do you give to this product? Because time is short. You know, our, our situation is relatively dire, and it's, as is newspapers. So can we afford these two guys for two more years to help us? Do we, can we afford to have, uh, to put energy and promotion into this while we hope that the revenue gets there? Can we afford to do it in Memphis? Or do we have to hope that maybe Scripps can do it as a whole or that there's some industry, industry uh, model here? It, you know, it, it, we, we spent, with our consultants, we probably spent about $400,000 in the last year. Internal staff time, if you talk about the hours we spent, well, we're, 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 we've easily spent another 400000 of staff time, probably more than that. Probably, we're, so we're, we spent a million dollars or more on this project in the last year at a time when our revenues and our profitability is going down. That's a pressure point. You know, how, can, can we really afford to do that? But again, I go back to the, I go back to the Cardinals here. Where I'm going to wrap up. You know, a month ago, it didn't look like they had a chance. And I think in a lot of ways, I'm convinced that this is our chance in the, in the newspaper industry to keep the journalism alive. If we can get... 2% of, uh, of our digital users who are not print subscribers to sign up at $9.95 will make about a million dollars. A million dollars of new revenue from a new revenue source in this environment, big number. It's good. If we get 4%, $2 million. Uh, if we get 2% a year for five years, then digital will basically become our, one of our largest revenue sources and we will have reduced a significant uh, cost because we're not sending out ink on paper. And I, that, what that means is that my newsroom won't have to try to cover the secular change by cost reductions. And if there's one challenge that I think, I hope we haven't, that, that, we, that we can overcome, it is that we have not degraded our journalistic efforts so much in, the, in trying to survive 
that when we finally get the technology right, that we have enough capacity to still give some journalism there that people find compelling. And that's really a question. It's an open question. Because many, many newspapers in this country, you go in and what you discover is they, that their news gathering and their news function has been so, so limited, so decimated, that even if this works, there, I, I think a lot of editors say, I'm not sure I've got enough left to really make it work. So there's kind of a race against time here, and uh, I feel good about where we are. I think we got something that's, with a little consumer help, can, it gives us, a, gives us a chance to succeed. At, and uh, frankly, I think this is all going to play out fairly quickly. I think we're going to know whether the digital, this paid digital model is going to be successful. I think we'll know in 36 months maximum whether, whether the trend lines are going. So anyway, uh, are there questions here? Anybody have any questions now that we've uh, taken you through a quick tour there? Anything you guys won't want to ask? Well, uh, I think there were, there, there were, there were three things that, uh, were three conversations that were important with advertising. The first one was uh, we said, this is going to help you if we make some money, even though it's not driven by advertising. That helps the bottom line. It takes a little bit of pressure off. And they, they got that. I mean, they understand full well that, man, at this point, find some dollars. You know, and if you can help us find some dollars, more power to you. The second thing we did was we said um, we, will, um, we built a little bit of advertising into the app. And it's small, though. I mean, it's really, there's only, there's only right at the, in, in our launch, I think there's only three places where advertising appears. And so we, we, we issued a challenge, sell those three, and then we'll talk, which they did. So we were able to get a little bit of money for that. I think that the, the other one that's unresolved, though, is that a lot of the resistance, not resistance, a lot of the lack of enthusiasm for the app it goes to that point that you can sell ads online. And, and newspaper, you know, we've been flogging that horse hard, trying to find it all, you know, Yahoo partnerships, Google AdWords, big box ads, all of that. And, you know, initially advertising had some success, but it's definitely plateaued off. You know, our, our, our revenue per page online is down 25% this year. I mean, it's just, it's just, it didn't, it, it hit a wall and stopped. Okay, so that's where the tension is. They say, well, but I got to have more to sell, and and, and as I as I mentioned to you, I don't think we know that. I, I don't know if this is going to be a rich medium for advertising yet, and and what that means. The one good thing though that we've done, I think internally that that has been important, and this is a little separate, is that we have quit trying to sell everything we could think of on the advertising side, and we said, look, let's focus on the newspaper, our profitable special sections, the web, and then if this works. But we've we've actually trimmed back a lot of the sort of let's throw it up against the wall and see if it sticks advertising, so that's up. But you've identified an issue that's unresolved. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, and th let me, this is interesting piece. Uh, let me. This is. This is. I think there's a. There is a little ray of hope in here again that I want to talk about. Uh, for about a month now, we have run a little story on page two about the fact that this is all coming, and we've done a little how-to one, two, three, how you register for the app, how to download it, and. Uh, we initially started just running it on Sundays. And one of the things that you saw, when we ran the little note on page two, we got a big spike in downloads. And what did that tell you? People were reading the paper. I mean, and that, that was the, I mean, that's a very simple thing. But it was a big plus. Uh, the other thing we've seen is that, and now we've accelerated that in the last month, what we have now, we've got about 7,000 downloads of the app of our of our of this of one of the apps mostly smartphone and then secondarily android and ipad and about half of those now are subscribers who've gone through this not laborious but there's a gone through the steps to identify themselves as subscribers which is what we've hoped but but that little promotion in paper was very very important now we did other things we bought billboards we we used our social media to we sent out you know we've we've tweeted about it we sent it out to our Facebook page but to be honest the mention in the paper was by far the biggest driver of of downloads and as I mentioned to you what we we were hoping that we get two percent one and a half to two percent of our digital users will pay right, right now they haven't had to pay yet but about thirty five percent have gone through and are if They've, they've gone through to the point where I, they're, they're going to, on Sunday, going to get the, now you've got a paywall, and we're going to see whether they, they pay or whether they, you know, go away. They're addicted to comments, aren't they? I mean, they, to be honest, if because in order for people to see your comments, you're going to have to pay. And I think, to be honest, for some people, that's going to be incentive enough. I, I, I completely agree with that. 
Well, that's interesting. You're, you're right. One of the undercurrents about this is that some of our good subscribers in the newspaper business are up, are they're ticked off that there are people out there getting it for free and they're still paying. And this helps them to that little subgroup. Well, now at least everybody's got to pay. By God, I, I'm, I'm with you. Um, there's there's two things that I that, that concern me, and I think we're this is where I think things will shake out in the next in, in the next couple of, you know couple of years really. Uh, one is we don't really know what the price point is for digital content, and so as, as Guy mentioned, we've we've done two things. We've kind of gone both ways. We we're charging nine ninety five for a sub monthly subscription. I mean, that's a lot. How many, there aren't many apps out there that are nine, you know, that are nine ninety five. I mean, it's a, we're charging high, but cheap. If you buy the paper, you won't even notice it because that's, you know, more than you're paying for the paper. But then the other thing we did was go to 99 cents and the 99 cent day pass. I don't know if that's going to work. If, but that, if, if you, if you could get a few thousand people who wanted a, a Memphis Grizzlies or a Memphis Tigers basketball story the day after the game to go to 99 cents be a big plus. But it's untested. You know, I, I, I just don't, I don't know. The other thing we don't know, and this go, sort of goes to the, the concern is, as, as guys so, so, so diplomatically put it, the good news and bad news of Memphis. You know, Memphis, if you've been following the census, is the poorest big city in the country. Uh, so we have a lot of poverty, 25% 20, of every household in Memphis is below the poverty line. So, you know, we're not a rich, now we have a lot of rich people through FedEx and St. Jude, but we got a lot of poor people. Um, we're not a technological hub. So, uh, what w the, the, I would say if we looked at the 7,000 people who've downloaded, I, I bet half of them work for FedEx. I really do. I mean, I think it's a well-off, highly educated niche within the newspaper that's already a little bit of a niche, right? So that's one thing we don't know. Do we? Is there this much room for growth, or is there that much? You know, maybe we'll only get seven thousand. You know, maybe, I don't know. Will we get seventeen thousand, seventy thousand? I I don't really know. The other part of that, which we don't know, is uh, we do know that you know it's a majority African American city, and the use of mobile in the African American community is higher than it is among the white community. Which would sound good because okay, well, we got a we got a pretty good little sm uh, uh, smartphone app, but the problem is people who are you know big users of mobile they're not looking for news you know what are they, they're list, they're doing they're doing Facebook and texting and they're you know so we're in a niche here news is a tiny little teensy weensy little niche in the mobile world and so we don't know if that's gonna gonna go or not so that's a question you know I mean that we just we just don't know that but we don't need that much right away to make a difference like we really don't we just need a we need a couple thousand to, to, to make the leap and it will be well worth our while. So. The, the $11 gets you sun, four Sunday papers home delivered and for all access. So that's a, see 11, so if you bought the, if you bought the, the four Sunday papers at, at $2 each, that's $8. So that way you're getting the whole, in essence, you're getting the whole digital package for $3 a month. So that, that was kind of the, the, the rationale we had. I do think there. I do think. I think that would be another way to go. I think you could seed the market. Uh, when we looked at that, though, we did look at that, and um, it, here's what here's what was the here, here's what was interesting. We could have bought every home subscriber. We if if we had bought every home subscriber an iPad at five hundred dollars. We, we figured four hundred dollars. You bought them in buck. We were guessing. If we would have bought every home subscriber an iPad for $400 and turned off the press, just like that, the payback would have been less than four years if, if they all stuck with us. If they all paid and they all stuck with us and we could turn off the press, we could, we could, we would, they actually we could make our money back on the iPads in four years. The problem was, the, the, the reality is, though, uh, that doesn't you've got you've got preprint advertising in print and you've got a lot of people who are old honestly i mean that's who our readers are they're over 50. to so the idea to them when you when we tested this we had a focus group a couple of them we said what do you think about that oh my god no a thousand times no i love the paper i love sitting there with my coffee with the big the big print newspaper. So we, we blinked. I mean, I don't think, I, no, that's one we probably couldn't have sold to Scripps. Although I did, and Roger knows this, I did post, I did pose that as a project that we would try with the University of Missouri. It was a, a five-year project to get us off, of, off the presses completely. And we haven't done, I, I don't think we have to do it as a project. I think it's just going to happen organically now, so.
Any other questions? Okay, well, thanks very much.